I'm literally high on freaking like days. You'll never Hey guys, happy Monday. What is up? I hope you're kickstarting your week. You're having the best week of your lives, you know, start it off right. I just wanted to say this because Joel was mentioning this and it's like so true. So you know that phrase that it's like, oh, today I woke up on the right side of the bed or oh, today I didn't wake up on the right side of the bed. But if you want to wake up on the right side of the bed, you can wake up on the right side of the bed. Like it's your choice. Like, you know what I mean? Like just go to the right side of the bed and wake up. Like it's your choice. If you want to wake up on the right side of the bed, then make a point of doing that and wake up on the right side of the bed. So Monday talk for you guys. Actually, recently I've been a with cold brew and I used to I tried it like once before and I didn't like it I don't know why my brother bought some and I was like why don't I just give it a second try and I'm literally obsessed now obsessed because it's just so easy it's already cold in the fridge so I just filled my glass with ice obviously and this is the one that I've been using this is the JJ bean cold brew black it's just a small batch so let's fill her up it's just so easy you know what I mean it's just right there made ready for you Ugh. And then I put this new silk oat creamer in here just Like that Oh, it's just so good. That's amazing. I 10 out of 10 suggest this. This is really good actually like this creamer the new oat milk one So good. Also you guys i'm actually getting like I know that phones listen to you and all that But i'm actually kind of getting concerned now to this at this point If you guys watched my last week's vlog where we like walked into a swarm of mosquitoes We got a whole bunch of mosquito bites and then we were talking afterwards and we we're like Oh, I wonder how many mosquito bites you would need to get in order to die or like lose enough blood to pass out And then a video on my tiktok for you page came up and it was like how many mosquito bites do you need to die and i'm like what like it's literally creepily kind of listening to you i don't know if that was a coincidence anyways i never knew this but if you got bit by uh, 500,000 mosquitoes it would put you in a coma and you would lose like so much blood you would just pass out and if you got bit by a million mosquitoes you would literally die they would drain all your blood out of your body at the end of the day i could have died also, I'm getting my eyelashes done tomorrow. I'm going to get eyelash extensions. So I'm really freaking excited. It's just going to make my life so much easier. And it's just going to make me feel like more put together every day when I'm filming and all that. And just for the summer, it's just, I feel like a vibe to have them. So I'm so excited to get them done. I'm just getting like a classic set. So it's not going to be like over dramatic or anything. But I'm obviously going to take you guys along to that appointment tomorrow, which is exciting. I know this is really bad, but I have been like failing at eating breakfast lately. Like I just haven't been eating breakfast because... I don't know why. I just made myself some oatmeal and it's 12.30. I was just editing all morning. Now I'm just like kind of getting my food started for the day, which I know is not good. I'm gonna put some raspberries in here. It's literally, I think it might be blueberry season now. Like I think blueberry season might've just begun. Oh, we have like a blueberry farm, like just around the corner of my house. And holy shit, blueberries are so good and raspberries and blackberries i i love berries that's why i love the summer because of all the fruit so freaking good and go just going to the blueberry farm and getting like a whole like vat of blueberries and just like eating them all day i mean it does make you shit a lot and when we were younger like a couple a few years ago me and madison we got a job at the blueberry farm for literally one day and we were picking and we were picking for like two hours and they paid us 12 bucks so they're trying to rip us off i feel like i've been failing to vlog lately at home like i've been vlogging all the fun shit that i've been doing but i haven't like done an at-home vlog in a while so this is a good change because i just miss like just casually talking to you guys like this instead of being just like showing all the fun shit that i do and i know like i do do like a lot of fun stuff and my summer's going amazing so far but it's not like that every day because i do work i have a job i do youtube so it's not obviously like that every single day which I'm, i might like show it like it is like that in some videos but it's not and i hope you guys know that like i don't live like a fairy tale fantasy you know i still have my ups and downs i mean i love life like i'm doing amazing but like you know still have those ups and downs like tonight just like a casual day it's sunny outside but i'm inside working Okay, little story time for you guys. So the reason why I'm washing my bed sheets particularly today is because last night I woke up at around 4.30 a.m. to my cat, Hershey, puking in my bed. When cats like start to puke, they and they make like this weird ass noise. So I'm like, shit, she's about to puke on my white sheets. And I take my hand, put it under her mouth, and I catch her puke. Yep, I catched it. 
Mm -hmm. The reason why I thought of putting my hand under is because Madison has done that before where she was about to puke on her bed and she put her hand under. So that was just my instinct. And I was literally half asleep. I was so delirious. And then she jumps down, she jumps off my bed and continues to puke on the floor. <clears throat> Needless to say, I have sanitized my hands. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever done in my life, probably. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. We love our nails because she's just so cute. But she did get a little bit of puke on my sheets. So we're cleaning those today. Yep. But needless to say, these gotta go to the wash because that is absolutely disgusting. Thank God for Shout because uh, I really hope it comes out. But Shout is usually pretty good, so I think we'll be fine. Thank God it didn't get on my like my duvet or anything. It just got on like the bed sheet that goes around the mattress. So it's not like horrible, but still kind of disgusting. Hey guys, so it is currently 8.40 and the girls, Julia and Juliana, are just about to come over because it is bachelorette night, you already know. I was very productive today, got all my work done I needed to. I did my laundry for once in my life, I did my sheets. It was a good day. Um, as you can see, I'm just waiting um, for my pillowcases, but there is no more puke. I did change the sheets completely, like I put on a whole new set. So we're fresh and clean. I I did tidy up my room a little bit. I still want to change those pictures and those frames, but I have no idea what to put in them yet. I'm still looking for something. So if you guys have any ideas or inspo of what to put in those frames, can you like DM me? Because I have no idea. You guys know my vibe if you watch me and I just need to change it up. I want a little bit of a change in my room. Let me know if you guys know any ideas, please. Hey guys, it's currently 8.37 in the morning. I have my lash appointment at 9. Your girl's getting her lashes done. And yes, I decided I'm getting them done. I think I told you that yesterday. I literally just rolled out of bed like when i say just rolled out of bed i literally mean that i just rolled out of bed just now because we were watching the bachelorette last night so we went to bed like pretty late but honestly i wanted to book this appointment in the morning on purpose because last time i got my lashes done i've never heard anybody talk about this before but literally the last time i got them done it was like hard for me to keep my eyes shut for that long because the lady that i went to took like three and a half hours and it was so hard for me to keep my eyes shut like i was really struggling i realized like maybe if i come tired then it's gonna be easier maybe i'll just fall asleep so i really hope that that happens because let me know if you guys struggle with not being able to keep your eyes shut too i think it's because it was just so long so i was getting really freaking antsy and i was like when is this gonna be over the lady that i'm going to now said that it's gonna take up to an hour and 40 minutes which is not as bad as three hours like last time so it's fine but i'm so excited to get them done like i just can't wait it's gonna be so easy also the mask mandate lifted um in my city in british columbia i think it was like all through british columbia so we don't have to wear a mask anymore but i think i'm still gonna have to wear a mask there but i'm gonna be very good at taking care of these lashes because last time i got eyelash extensions i did not take care of them like it was horrible so this time i'm actually going to take good care of them and if i like them i'm gonna like just keep getting them like a fail throughout the summer just to last me for the summer so we'll see i'm just really excited i'll update you guys when i'm there i'm low-key kind of nervous to get them done just because of my experience last time it was just so long and so long i think on the way back i might pick up a coffee even um because they say not to like drink coffee before you go which makes sense because you don't want to be hyper when you're there so i think the state that i'm in right now like i can easily fall back asleep right now which is good also i kind of have problems like my body just loves sleep way too much like oh my god it just loves sleep like i need my sleep hey guys so i just got back from my lash appointment she did such an amazing job i just got like a classic set and they are so good like i'm literally obsessed the process was so much easier than last time like i did not get antsy at all we were just talking and the time went by so fast so overall great experience i'm gonna go back i'll put her instagram here if you guys are from the area you guys should go check her out i know a lot of you guys like aren't from the area so anyways if you are you should go check her out because it's just a great experience and i'm so happy i got them done now it's just gonna be so easy <gasps> it's like an elevated version of like mascara 
because I hate mascara. Okay, I seriously need to stop doing this because it is 12.45 right now and I have not eaten one thing today. This has become a very unhealthy pattern, unintentionally. We gotta get some coffee in me, we gotta eat something, preferably eat before we get the coffee in because the coffee doesn't make me hungry. But the thing is, is like I don't even feel hungry. I think my body is adjusting to not eating in the morning, which is not good. I need to get something in my system. Ooh. First though, I did just finish like a little thing of water just because I didn't even have water in me because I didn't want to have to pee during my lash appointment so I didn't drink any water in the morning or coffee obviously because I didn't want to be awake. Honestly, we have bananas so I might just cut up bananas and peanut butter and then put some chocolate chips on it and then call it a day. Or we also have avocados. I hate when you get excited about having avocados and then none of them are ripe. I feel like sometimes they just take so long to ripen and you're just waiting to the day you can have avocado toast. So I guess today, because bananas are perfect right now. like. Look at these goddamn bananas, they're so perfect. So I think I'm just going to have my classic banana bites, I like to call them. I've shown this in the vlog before. Basically, I just cut the bananas up in slices, slap peanut butter on them, and then put some, some chocolate chips over top, which is like a perfect, easy, quick snack. So we're gonna do that. Ooh, and I'll have a coffee with it. That'll be good. Nice cold brew. Oh my God, like sometimes coffee and eating just makes me excited. It's just like I always look forward to my next coffee or my next meal. We're back at the coffee corner making some cold brew. I just did my bananas. I feel like I go through waves of like coffee, matcha, iced coffee, cold coffee, lattes, frappes, you know what I mean? I go through periods of time where I really like something and I'll make it like every day and then I'll like switch. Let me know if you guys do that too because it's just like a thing. Oh, well, that's all I have to say. I literally drank that was like Lucas's cold brew that he bought and I literally drank all of it. So I think I'm gonna go to the store after I'm done eating and buying some more. Cause I also need to get dry shampoo really desperately. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back in the car. It's so freaking hot. So I'm just like letting the air conditioning run for a second here while I keep the door open. But I'm just heading out to the grocery store. I need to get more cold brew and I want to get a few things for dinner so I can have a proper dinner tonight. I need to get back on my eating schedule. This has been bad. I don't have an unhealthy relationship with food whatsoever. Like, don't worry, I'm completely fine. It's just solely, I just haven't been like on a good eating schedule it's like kind of getting off your sleep schedule i just been getting off my eating schedule and i also want to just head to the drugstore because i just want to get some dry shampoo and some pimple patches um and some shampoo so i gotta get a couple things so i'm just gonna head out for a bit and take you guys along and i met you in the summer way too real if we bump into each other on a crowd and shaking and getting drunk in the mansion to you Okay, just got here. Um, I just realized that masks aren't even mandatory anymore, but it feels kind of weird not to wear one. Plus, I think that it varies each store, so I'm just gonna wear one in case. Cause I have no idea. I haven't been in this store since the mask regulation got lifted. So we don't know, but we'll just wear one for now. My car is literally so freaking dirty. I need to get it washed ASAP. I was gonna do it myself, but I don't know. It's just so dirty. I need to get it done. It's disgusting. The dry shampoo is on sale, so thank God. Because sometimes they literally completely run out of this one and it's like my favorite one, so thank God that it's in stock. So last time that I got shampoo, I got this one. So I'm switching it up and getting the pink one this time. Just try it out. It's like a moisture boost, so it should be good too because I really like the yellow one with the castor oil in it. So I know it's a good brand. I'm literally obsessed with these pink brushes. This is literally the cutest brushes I've ever seen. I love how the black is $10.99 and then the pink is like $16.99. Probably just for the color. I'm literally freaking out. Look at how cute this is. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit. I know that we'll have a ball if we get down. Let's do it. Okay, so I just got home, got everything I needed, and I just had the best dance party, you guys. 10 out of 10 would suggest if you guys just want to get into a better mood, put some pump and music on and just freaking jam out. Like, it's literally the best thing ever. Like, I'm literally... Ah! 
in the best mood right now because I am living life. I am here on an experience. I get to live my damn life. I have a human body. That makes me so freaking excited. Ah! Anyways, does anyone else get this excited about life? Because you should. You should. I just wanted to say that when you go on a hike, you don't start at the top of the mountain. You have to climb up that mountain to get to the top. No one starts at the top of the mountain. Therefore, what I'm saying, if you guys want to pursue something in life, if you want to do something at life, never get discouraged. When someone goes on a hike, they have to start at the bottom of the mountain. Same thing goes for you. When you start a new venture, when you do something new, when you want to pursue something, you start at the bottom of the mountain. No one starts at the top. Therefore, it's normal to be at the bottom and you got to work your way up. Midway through the hike, someone can be like, oh my God, I haven't seen the top yet. It's never going to come. So I'm just going to walk back down. That is when you fail because you walk back down the mountain, even though that the mountain peak is there, you couldn't see it. Therefore, you walked down. You know what I mean? Just because you can't see it, just because it's not in front of you yet, just because you don't have it yet, just because you haven't accomplished it yet, doesn't mean you're not on the way there. So just take that into perspective and realize no one starts at the top of the mountain everyone has to go on their own journey and that's literally how, why so many people don't succeed and why they fail is because they climb back down the mountain halfway through because they don't see the peak yet and you just have to keep pushing and you keep going until you get to until you see the peak until you get there because it is going to be there it is going to come you just got to keep going that's my TED talk for the day anyways I'm going to go inside now because <laughs> that was way too long I took way too long to do that <laughs> High on life. I'm literally high on freaking life. Life is a kind of 